Alrighty, what is going on guys? Rushed you here and welcome back to another Let's Make a Mod episode 7. And today we're going to be going over how to make a creative tab. This is a very easy one. It's going to be like a 4 to 5 minute video probably. But anyways, let's jump right in. So the first thing you're going to have to do is uh, you don't have to do any imports because everything should already be imported. So let's just uh, make a... Uh, make a little comment here and if you're gonna hear the metallic tapping in the back it's because I got a new keyboard um it's the razor black widow I think but um yeah anyways we're just gonna start by typing this simple line of code public static creative tabs and then your tab name so tab tutorial is equal to new creative tabs and then tab tutorial so basically you're just going to need to do an open brackets put the semicolon right there and you should be good now underneath this line of code you're going to write public item stack get icon item stack and you're gonna put uh, close parentheses open bracket and then down and then you're going to do return new item stack and then in here you're going to put whatever you want your um, whatever you want your what's it called your uh, Texture the little tab the texture on the tab yeah that's what uh, that's gonna be if you uh, need if you want to do that and then down here I guess I already had it but what you're gonna do right here is you're gonna do I'll just retype it just for sakes of helping out so you can type in language registry. dot instance dot wait hold on let me go back here I have to remember so okay we'll just do this we'll just go by this line of code right here and just empty all of this out okay so right here you do language registry dot instance dot add string localization then you're gonna do a parenthesis or a quotation marks and you're gonna do item group dot tab tutorial and then you're going to do a comma you're going to do en underscore us which means english us and then you're going to do what you want it to be named and you're and i'm just going to do rush to rg's tutorial real mod okay there we go that's simple to name it so that's all you have to do to name it now you're gonna have to add all of your items in so basically what you're going to do is you're gonna come here to where your names are oh whoops and you're just going to do this oh, come on I got a new mouse too and it's being buggy so we just backspace all this and we do tab tutorial and then that should work and then you come over here right here tab tutorial and then come over here tab tutorial there you go all those are good now we are just going to click save and run it's going to run our game for us and it's going to load up all of our textures are loaded single player just go into our creative world that we have and open up our creative menu and there it is rush grg's tutorial mod ruby or uh oh well ruby or ruby or ruby what 
That's confusing. But whatever. Uh, probably just some more texture bugs. Hold on, let me refresh it here. And then come down here in language registry, name Ruby. Uh, block, Ruby, Ruby, block, Ruby, or. And then, I, I figured out what some of the source of the problems might be, and, a, and it is, uh, you might have the same localized name. Let's go into block Ruby. Yeah, that's probably what it is. So we have to go, sorry, I'm just doing a little fix here, actually. We're just going to do dot set unlocalized name. And we'll just do block Ruby. Dot set unlocalized name. Or Ruby. All right, there we go. Let me see if that actually fixes it. Might it will probably fix it actually. Most likely. Yeah, there you go. I just had my unlocalized names wrong. But yeah, there you go. And uh, as you can see, the name right here, Rush GRG's tutorial mod right there. And there you go. All of your items are in there and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyways, anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, ratings are much appreciated. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to myself as well as the Crisis Hub YouTube channel. And go ahead and follow both of our Twitters, which should be in the description down below. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.